How do you feel about your job today? Are you doing it in a superior way? Or are you lying to yourself every day about what you can get away with instead of what you're there to play with? You see, if your job is doing one thing, people have an expectation of what that looks like. If your job is doing something else, most people are familiar with that profession and that industry and that career track to a point in terms of the general knowledge that is provided around the world through newscasts, through investigative stories, through everything that's out there for God's glory in terms of film that explore different lifestyles in different ways. The liars of America don't think about that. They don't think about that there's an industry standard for retail performance. They don't think about that there's an industry standard for manufacturing quality. They don't think about that there are Six Sigma and other types of SBS and TPQM and other types of, of mentalities that are out there for every industry in every way. They're called benchmarks today. And a benchmark for a sermon might be different than a benchmark for a presentation and different than a benchmark for a National Speakers Association. You see, when we put ourselves in those positions, we have a lot more income possibilities coming in based on the level of which we've achieved, not what people have always perceived. Sometimes our closest family and friends are not really there for uh, helping us to the end. They're there to help themselves to something better. But openly, what they do for a living isn't always what we do in any way, and that is what's getting people today. You see, sometimes we have to merge ourselves with new people, and sometimes we have to walk away from people that we thought were the right mergers, and they're not. And many times you've heard from the Lord saying, get out of this, leave this, do this, go there, be here, and you don't do it out of your own selfish nature, not hearing the Lord speaking to you, shouting at you, screaming at you, saying, this is going to blow up in your face.